I teach my puppies two different versions of stay. The first is sit until I tell you a release cue, and the second is drop until I tell you a release cue. In this case, my release cue is going to be the word release. You want it to be a word that doesn't come up very much in conversation, and you want it to be a nice, easy word to say. So I've got him in a drop position now, and I'm feeding him treats for staying in that position. Now I'm going to use the three Ds of training to show him that nothing means get up except for the release cue. The three Ds are distraction, duration, and distance. I'm going to start off with duration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to treat him for staying in this position and slowly increase the amount of time between giving him a treat. And after about three times, I'm going to add into the release cue. Now, at first, they're not going to want to get up to get the treat for the release cue because they've just been getting a treat to stay in the same yes. position. So you need to make a big fuss over yes. it and don't give up until Good they boy. get the treat. Yes. Good boy. Okay. Drop. Good boy. Yes. Now if your puppy happens to get up before you say the release cue, then what you need to do is get them back, straight back into the drop position and then half the amount of time that you're expecting them to wait before they got the treat. So you're kind of stepping back a little bit. So you're going to practice that daily and increase the amount of time between treats until you get to the point where you know they're not going to move until they hear that word. Release! Good boy. Okay, the next D is distraction. Drop. So now what we're going to do is reward them for not moving despite anything that you do. Start off with little distractions like noises. And then increase to movements. Up, see how he got up? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop him. And I'm going to go back and just make that movement a little bit smaller. And then yes. Now this is Charlotte's first time doing this, so I'm not going to go too much further than this, but eventually you'll get to the point where you'll be throwing treats around, throwing his ball around, and he's not to move until you say, release, release, good boy. Okay, so I'm just taking little tiny steps back and little tiny steps forward to give the treat. If he gets up, I'm going to drop him again, drop. Drop and just take half a little step back. Good boy. Up, drop, drop. As you can see, this one's a little bit hard for him. And do moves to the side. Now I'm just doing one step at a time here, but obviously, as your dog gets better. You would be taking bigger and bigger steps back. Eventually with this D you'll get to the point where you've got be going behind objects and then eventually into other rooms. Now usually I would be spending one training session on each of the Ds. I wouldn't be doing them all in one until they're ready to start combining them. Sit. Sit.